hello everyone welcome or welcome back and thank you so much for coming back so i learned about the extremely hydrating effects of banana peel hair mask here on youtube and i decided to try it. so in this video i'm going to share that experience with you the things i learned along the mistakes i made and the results i got so please continue watching I've already washed these bananas and the next thing I did was remove the peels which is what we need for the mask. Banana peels are said to be rich in potassium and other moisturizing content which helps to really hydrate the hair. They soften and add shine to the hair. Banana peels are also said to have anti-inflammatory, antioxidants and antimicrobial properties which are soothing for the scalp and which helps to keep the hair and the scalp healthy. The next thing I did was chop the banana peels for easy blending, after which I took them to the freezer. I left them in the freezer for 45 minutes. The freezing idea was in order to blend easily without using so much liquid such that the mask will still have a thicker texture and also because I don't want to add extra bananas to the peel since oh, we are trying out the banana peel and not the banana with its peel. After transferring it to the blender, I added castor oil. I don't know what gave me the idea that I could actually blend this without adding even a little amount of water or any liquid. But of course, it did not go, so I had to add water and I ended up adding more and more of it. That notwithstanding, the texture still came out thicker without me uh, adding any banana to it. After blending, I had to strain to remove larger particles, but guess what? I could only get water across. I thought that perhaps the material I used, which was a t-shirt material, was too fine to get the mask out uh, of it. So guys, I decided to make use of a wig cap to see if it would be any better and unfortunately, it didn't work as much as I thought it would. At this point, I really felt like just throwing away everything, just forgetting about the banana peel hair mask, forgetting about the content and just throwing away everything. Then another thought came to my mind, why not use it? as it is why not just use the mask without uh, straining it but i was really skeptical about doing that because i was scared it might leave residues on my hair i had done this before but that was with fenugreek and i i really struggled so much to get out the residue from my hair so i was so skeptical about doing this with the banana peel and after 1000 years of thinking i finally decided to apply the mask without straining it so i put together everything and went on to apply it i added more oil to help lubricate my strands then i mixed well My hair was in some braids and I decided to work in those sections. Since I was still very skeptical about applying this mask on my hair, the very first section was like a test to either give me a reason to go on to continue with the application or to just give up and <laughs> stop everything. 
since I was worried that I might not be able to wash out everything from my hair and that uh, the mask would leave residues on the hair, I did not go right down to my scalp. And from the application of the first one, look at those curls. <laughs> For the sake of these curls, I just decided to continue with the application. My first impression after applying this mask was its tightening feel. Uh, perhaps it's because I did not hydrate my hair with water before applying it or maybe I would just have to add a conditioner or any conditioning agent to it if I have to do it again next time. But again, I think uh, that is why the curls are showing up. So as I was applying the mask, I was using my fingers to detangle my hair. At this moment guys, I really wasn't regretting my decision to continue. At least, not yet. Aside the hair benefits, did you also know that banana peels can be used for teeth whitening and they can also be used to moisturize dry skin, especially cracked heels. Banana peels are also used to tighten pores and has a whole lot of other benefits. Alright, so I always like to know that the things I put on my hair, especially on my scalp, can equally be applied on the skin. It makes me feel comfortable about it. They may have, they may perform different functions on the hair and on the skin, but I like to know that those things I'm putting on my hair can equally be used on the, on the skin. So good people, I'm already rooting for banana peels, especially given the, the curl definition we already have on the hair. We are almost done and I am so happy that my hair was in braids when I started applying this mask. It really made application easier in terms of sections. And I also enjoyed applying from the ends of the hair to the roots of the hair. It also made uh, detangling easier and safer. At this point, I already concluded that irrespective of whether this mask leaves residues on my hair, I was going to continue using banana peels on my hair. That is, each time I have to make use of uh, bananas in a recipe I will not just use the fruit and discard the peels I'll use the fruit and uh, the peels all together When I had finished applying the mask, I covered my hair with a plastic bag for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes, I proceeded to wash the hair. Was I able to get out everything from my hair? Continue watching. I made use of lukewarm water to wash my hair and this was after using a 10 liter bucket of water to rinse the hair. This was after the second rinse with another 10 liter bucket of water just water and after this second rinse I decided to go in with the shampoo and while shampooing my hair I paid more attention to the scalp like I focused the shampoo especially on the scalp remember the water I squeezed out earlier from the mask I did uh, pour it on my hair to get into the scalp before applying my hair conditioner and this this look is before the conditioner there are water bubbles so we cannot really see clearly if there are residues on the hair
and three days later my hair still feels and it still looks so hydrated it looks so moisturized it is moisturized it feels that way but look closely and notice the the, the residue there are banana peel uh, fibers on my hair <laughs> i guess i'll just have to blow dry the hair and use a tight tooth comb to comb out these residues but i do believe in banana peels i do believe in them the hydration the moisturization is so real but we'll have to find a way of using them without leaving residue on the hair thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it give it a thumbs up if you do and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in another video bye